Plus, we have special election team coverage for you this morning to bring you all you need to know before you head to the polls this election day. Action News Now reporter Elizabeth Zeladone is live at a Reading polling center this morning with a breakdown of some major propositions. And reporter Haley Watts is live at a Chico polling center with an overview of the big issues. Haley? Julia, good morning. Today is the big day, and I'm here at the Masonic Family Center on East Avenue in Chico. This is where six different precincts of voters uh, come out to cast their vote. And with me right now, this is Elsie Hightower. Good morning, Elsie. Good morning. All right, every year that I cover elections, Elsie is here. She's a volunteer. You volunteer your entire day, right, as the greeter here? Six o'clock in the morning till whenever at night. <laughs> It's a very long day. Now, there's a lot of you here, and you're one of the first people that uh, people see when they come in here. Yes. So yes. you basically just guide them. You make sure. What are your responsibilities? Well, they'll bring in their. We look at their names up here if they don't have their information on their card that they got from home. Okay, so basically, yeah, people uh, they're supposed to go to. These are the precincts that all right, vote here, right. right? So you make sure yeah. the information matches. This right here has all the ABCs. We got it all worked out, and if they don't didn't have anything, we can look up here, and if they don't know what any. Where they go, sometimes they come here and they should be in this list all the precincts for the neighborhoods and stuff. Okay, so you're the first line of defense. Elsie, thank you so much. We're going to take everybody in here now. Uh, so this is where you come after you go through your, through your first check through. You come on into this polling area where we have a lot of uh, volunteers already here, student volunteers. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So once people make it this far in, what are we doing next? Oh, can I ask you? Once people come in here, you just basically, do you check their identification or anything? Yes, we do. We check their name, and we have them sign in, and then we go on down the line and show them how to um, vote, and nobody else is here, but um, we show them how to vote, and we give them a ballot. And we let them vote. So you don't have to bring that sample ballot with you. You'll they'll be able to have that guide with them. Have that for a guide. Yes. Is there anything else that you recommend that people bring with them? ID. Okay. You have to show. Yes. Okay. And, and then how long does the whole process take once they're in here usually? Depends. Some people are a little slower than others, so it just depends. We can't say for sure how long it's going to take. You have all the stuff. You got pen you have pencils, everything. We have pens, we have markers, we have everything to go. Th as soon as it gets here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, even extra glasses. She said it. Perfect. So polls open at 7. They will be open until 8 o'clock tonight. And we're going to be here until the polls open. I guess they're going to be doing a big uh, hurrah for that. Uh, live in Chico, Haley Watts, Action News Now. Extra reading glasses. That's so smart. I wouldn't have thought of that. Well, we've got more TV.